questions for coach and players. Coach said, the coach said it was a high level game, just the intensity involved. Felt like March, did it feel that way to you? Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, we, we told our guys, you know, these are the teams, types of teams you're going to play once you make a deep tournament run. And I mean, they're, they're an incredible team, and incredibly well coached. And, you know, they have some really good players. And, you know, that number one kid, he, he, he was nails. And there were veterans, you know, around him that made some other good plays. So uh, all in all, I mean, that was, that was a fun, exciting game, a great experience for us. You know, obviously, we would have liked, you know, maybe one more play to go our way. But, you know, we're going to be better for this. And, uh, you know, that's why we set up this schedule. And, you know, I didn't set up the schedule to go undefeated. I mean, if our guys found a way to win all the games, I would have been really proud of them. But I, I am super proud of them. These guys did an incredible job and showed tremendous character today. I mean, we were down three different times, you know, especially after being up big in the first half. And, you know, they made some runs. And then we, you know, we kind of weathered the storm a little bit and, and found a way to, to get back in the game and really draw even both times. And, you know, we had, we had, you know, good shots down the end of each one of those, you know, um, you know, I guess regulation and overtime scenarios that, that you know, I, I feel good about. I'm assuming that the, you got the play you wanted on Caleb the last shot. Yeah, I mean, we, we were just, you know, kind of, you know, we I, I figured they were going to come out and switch a bunch of things. So we just wanted to, you know, kind of put the ball in Caleb or um, Kylan's hands at the end there. And, you know, I, I figured one of them was going to have to make a play off the dribble. and. You know, we, we got a shot that, you know, Caleb's a, a big shot taker and he's a big shot maker. So uh, I feel good about the look. And if you're just in and out, I mean, I mean, that thing holds in there. I mean, you know, we all probably feel a little bit different. Uh, as an opposing head coach, is there any time you kind of just say, you know, tip of the hat to, to John L. Davis with some of the shots he made today? For sure. I mean, for sure. I mean, you know, hey, he, he shot one that he shot some big time ones. But he also had one that was like a layup on the left side that he, he shot and it came out of his hand. I thought it had no chance and somehow it hit below the rim and crawled over the rim. And, you know, Caleb has a dunk and a layup. I mean, I'm probably going to take the dunk or the layup over that shot, but like that's how the ball goes sometimes. And, and he's, a, he's a really, really good player. I mean, he's, you know, he's got a poise about him and, uh, and he knows where he can pick and choose his spots and he's got tremendous confidence. So, um, you know, I, I was really impressed with him. The, the result didn't go the way you want, obviously, but there are moments, I mean, Caleb's big shot, Umar goes to the line and, and hits two. Can you just talk a little bit more about Philly to kind of well, step up? We, we, we didn't win today, but we got winners. And, you know, and, and, and this team is built to, you know, I think, you know, have the type of conference season we all hope for and then, you know, and beyond. So, I mean, I, I, I'm, here. I, I'm not down. You know, I'm going to have a great Christmas. I hope you guys are too. I know these guys will. They all need a little bit of a break from me and to get with their families a little bit. And uh, I can't wait to get started back up on the 27th. Well, how does having uh, 10 extra minutes of uh, basketball help you guys going into conference play? I mean, it's great to be in those situations. You can't simulate those pressure scenarios. And so now I, I, there's going to be a lot we'll learn from, a lot of positives where we did go and make great plays and probably a few negatives, you know, that we can learn from. But now now that you've actually experienced it, you know, beyond just practice, you know, it really helps. Bruce, one last oh. for, for Actually, for all you guys, how, how I mean, it didn't seem like it started out with such a game of big runs, like you got up early, they came back, and then uh, neither team could pull away. Did, did, did kind of the change, it changed the way you guys kind of figured out the matchups as it went on, and did it become I'll let you guys answer game? Um, I feel like uh, that's just how the game was going. Um, you know, we was, you know, we started up um, kind of on them um, in the first half, first few minutes of the game, and, uh, you know, they came back in their, their little run, and um, it was just kind of back and forth from there. Um, you know, it's a game of runs in, in basketball, and so, uh, you know, we, they would pass off to them. You know, they, they executed some of their plays. Uh, they had big-time players to, you know, make big-time big shots. So, um, unfortunately, you know, we, we came up on the short end of the stick, but, uh, this definitely, like Coach said, will help us uh, going uh, conference play. Oh, he hit it. He hit it right on the head. I think, you know, it was a game of runs. Um, credit to them. They had, again, big time players, experienced players, made big time shots towards the end. Um, but like Coach Lloyd said, we got a bunch of winners and dogs. Um, there was no quit in us. Um, I think we stayed really poised down the stretch. Um, and even when they made their run, at us, so um, you know, it's gonna help us in the long run. Yeah, right. 
uh, Chris AZ Van Cat Sports coach. Uh, Umar Ballo had a 13 point, 21 rebound, double double. After the last game, you said he was on the precipice of big O Maui yeah. performance. Uh, what did you see from him, and what does it mean going into conference play that he's continuing I mean, to play so dominantly? Uh, uh, oh, really impacted the game, you know, and, you know, we want to continue to build with him. I mean, he's obviously a force. And, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure his finishing is going to continue to, to pick up a little bit. But for him to go get 20 rebounds in a game like that was pretty impressive. So, you know, we love O. We, we appreciate all the value he brings to us. We were kind of mixing some lineups down the stretch in there. And he handled it with a ton of maturity and, you know, kind of going in and out. And then to step up and make two big free throws, I mean, shows a lot of growth for him. Tell, tell me, this three-game stretch was very ambitious. Would you do it again? Did you enjoy oh, 100%. it? 100%. I mean... You know, hey, I, I, I wish this was the NBA, where, where we were on to the next one, where these losses didn't hurt as much. But college, they hurt. You know, the, the losses hurt in college, especially when you're in a program like Arizona, and you know you're not used to losing. But you know, we're we're built for it, and um, you know, there, there's no shame in losing to Purdue. There's no shame in losing to Florida Atlantic today. I mean, you know, they're they're an incredible team and extremely well coached. I mean, I I I was we were impressed watching them, and we knew it was going to be tough. When we went up, I was like. The chances of, of us continuing this is probably pretty slim, you know. And, and to their credit, they dug back in the game and put the, made a good run at the start of the second half to kind of take control of things. And we had to kind of, you know, tested our character. And, and I thought our guys rose to that occasion. Does this break come out of good time for you guys? For sure, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's a yeah, it's been a, it's been a hard hard deal. I mean, you know, hey, you know, we we played, you know, Purdue, Alabama, and basically FAU in what seven eight days and you know and and you know they they you know played a game last Saturday and had all week to prepare but that's fine they had no impact on the game so um yeah I mean it, it, the break comes at a good time and you know and, and and I can't wait to get together with my staff and you know kind of figure out you know the the next uptick for this team because this team has a lot of growth in it and, and we're going to try to tap into everything we can Kind of along those lines, but uh, for Caleb and KJ, maybe uh, all these tough games. How did you guys? How do you guys look back on that? And 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 does it maybe have a difference? You know, when you've had so many big games, uh, you know, and then you're going double overtime today. Did you feel any kind of just mental or physical fatigue, or you know, just that little extra or whatever? Well, I think it, it just helps us um, going into the long run, especially you know, going into Pac-12 play, and then it's going to help us obviously um, going into. You know, March as far as, you know, these big time games uh, against these big time teams as far as, you know, uh, you know, getting situations that, you know, we may not be able to, you know, like Coach said, simulate in practice. And so, um, you know, we learn from them, grow from them, uh, watch film, and, uh, you know, we do that a lot. And so, uh, like I said, I just feel like this is definitely going to help us. And I'm, you know, glad Coach put this schedule together because, you know, we know what to expect uh, going down, uh, going forward. How did that last shot feel for you? Did you think it was going to go in? You hit a number of big ones today. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was going in, but you know, I probably should have, you know, grabbed him a penny or something like that. I, it was three seconds left. I, you know, I tried to create some space and uh, get the shot up, but um, I learned from that shot for sure. Uh, KJ, even when you got into foul trouble towards the end there, you still were playing aggressive. There was one series where you had a great stop on defense, and then you got the ball and made a really aggressive drive down the lane on the other end and drove, drew a foul. Uh, what's going through your mind there um, just to continue to stay aggressive even with uh, some foul trouble like that late in the game to continue to be a difference maker that way? Um, <clears throat> just Coach Lloyd and, um, and my teammates just telling me um, not to not be myself. Um, you know, I think I played really aggressive. Um, and, um, you know, we were putting a foul trouble on the – foul pressure on, the, uh, on their bigs. Um, and it was just, you know, situational basketball. We were getting anything we wanted in the paint, I felt like. Um, and, you know, it just happened to go my way. Um, I think it's just a testament to my teammates and my coaches just believing in me and trusting in me with, uh, you know, the fouls I had. Last one right back there. Coach, uh, before this game, you were 8-0 in this building. Uh, obviously, you lost. But why do you think you've been so successful here? I mean, I don't make anything of that. I mean, that's, that's crazy. I mean, just, hey, you know, we love playing here, but about the undefeated thing, I mean, listen, it's too, when you get out there with other really good teams, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some. And, you know, I know this team's built to win most of those. And, and we're going to, you know, try to take the next step forward to ensure, you know, give ourselves a little more margin for error in some of these high-level games. And, and that that's, you know, my job to make sure we're increasing that margin for error because you need to come out and, you know, you play a, a really good Florida Atlantic team that has really good players and a really good coach. And, 
And, you know, we went toe to toe, both teams, and, you know, they, they ended up kind of just being on the right side of it by one point. You know, we could have easily been sitting in here celebrating Caleb. You know, he, he makes that shot and, you know, we feel like, you know, we're, we're invincible, but, but in reality, you're not. So we, we just got to, we got to hunker down and, and, and bounce back from this and, and, and we will. I mean, our guys are hoopers. They like to play, so I'm not worried about it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.